What does the prefix ana mean in anatomy, anaplasia and anabolism? Literally, ana means up, again, or backward. In medicine, it can imply upward, as seen in anatomy, where the human body is cut up or apart. It can also imply again or repetition, as in anabolism, the building up of complex molecules from simpler ones. Additionally, ana can imply backward or against, referring to a reversal or return to a previous state, such as in anaplasia, where cells revert to a more primitive state. What does the term diplopia mean? It is commonly referred to as double vision. What does the term hypercalemia mean, and how is it broken down by prefix, root word, and suffix? Hypercalemia refers to a condition characterized by an abnormally high level of potassium in the blood. Hypercalemia can be broken down in three parts, the prefix hyper, meaning above normal, the root word gal, meaning potassium, and the suffix semia, that indicates a condition related to the blood. Can you break down the word periodontitis and explain what each part means? The word periodontitis can be broken down into three parts, the prefix peri that means around, the root or dot that means tooth, and the suffix itis that means inflammation. So, periodontitis literally means inflammation around the tooth, a condition where the gums and other supporting structures around the teeth become inflamed, often leading to tooth loss if left untreated. What does each part of the word xerostomia represent? The prefix zero, indicates dryness. Stom related to the mouth or oral cavity, and the suffix ia, indicates a condition or state. Xerostomia refers to a medical condition known as dry mouth. What do the prefix laparo and scopy mean in the term laparoscopy? Laparo or laparo means abdominal wall and the suffix scopy means examination. What do the components neuro and pathy mean in the term neuropathy? Neuro refers to nerves, pathy refers to a particular disease or damage, then neuropathy refers to a disease or damage affecting the nerves. What does the prefix chiro mean in chiropractor? Hand. So, a chiropractor is someone who practices using their hands. What do the terms, chiro, pod, and alga mean in the word chiropodalgia? Chiro refers to hands, pod refers to feet, and the suffix alga refers to pain. So, chiropodalgia refers to pain in the hands and feet. What do the root valvulo and the suffix plasti mean in the term valvuloplasty? The root valvulo refers to a valve. The suffix plasti refers to a surgical procedure, so valvuloplasty is a surgical procedure in which a catheter is inserted to dilate a cardiac valve, helping to improve blood circulation. What does the prefix arthro or arthro refer to? Joint or any junction between two different parts. So, arthritis literally means inflammation of the joints. What is plasmapheresis and what does it involve? procedure of drawing blood from a patient, separating the plasma, and returning the other blood components back to the patient. It can also involve replacing the plasma with donor plasma or a replacement solution. What is ankylosing spondylitis? A type of arthritis, that causes inflammation in the joints and tissues of the spine, leading to stiffness and reduced mobility. What do you call a person who can write with both hands equally well? An ambidextrous. What is cephalalgia, and what are some potential causes? It is a pain in the head, caused by factors such as dilation of cerebral arteries, muscle contraction, insufficient oxygen in the cerebral blood, or reactions to drugs. What is acropathy? The prefix acro refers to extremities, and the suffix pathy refers to disease or disorder. So, acropathy means disease or disorder affecting the extremities of the body, sometimes only fingers and toes. What is pyrexia? Fever. What is spinal stenosis? 
it is the narrowing of one or more spaces within the spinal canal, which can lead to pressure on the spinal cord and nerves, often causing pain, numbness, or weakness. What does sulpingo oophorectomy mean? It refers to the surgical removal of the fallopian tubes and ovaries, 